In this video, I'm going to quickly review several of the important features of iRender Next. Let's get started with reflections. Adding reflections with iRender Next adds realism and accurately represents materials. Adding reflections to your model is of course one of the best things you can do to add realism. Getting the right amount of reflection can really make a big difference in the quality of your rendering. Adding reflections is a very easy process with iRender Next. Simply hover over the material you want to edit, right click, and click on Edit Material. Then you can choose from these preset options here, or you can use this slider bar for further control. So I'm just going to choose Reflective, and hit OK. And that's it, that's all you have to do to add reflection. Now let me show you what the rendered image looks like. See how great this image looks now? We have some really good reflections on the tabletop here and on the light. Adding lights to your model can add realism. You can quickly add pre-made lights, as well as custom making your own. Adding lights to your model is very important, and it's as simple as coming up here to the iRender Next toolbar. This toolbar is a very important area to get to know. It is where anything and everything having to do with iRender can be found. Now go ahead and click on the Create Light Fixtures button. Pick which type of light you want to place. I'm going to do a spotlight. Change any settings you need to down here, and click Create Lamp. Move into position. Click once to place it. Aim the lamp, and you're done. Okay, now I'm gonna change my position and render it to see what we get. We were quickly able to enhance the quality of this model by placing the spotlight to highlight the art. Lighting presets let you accurately represent a model's setting as well as speeding work time. For your convenience, we have added a number of lighting presets. Let me show you what they are. Go to the iRender Next toolbar and click on Setup Options. Then under the Presets tab, you will see all these images across the top. These are the different presets you can choose from. High Dynamic turns on HDRI Skies. HDRI Skies are a special type of sky that you can learn more about in our other videos. The rest of these are pretty self-explanatory. Exterior changes the settings to give you the best results for an exterior rendering. The same goes for interior with sun and interior with no sun. Choose the one that works best for your model and click render. And here are examples of the four different lighting presets. And you can see how much a model can change when the different presets are used. So with lighting presets, you can quickly and easily make the model look just the way you want. Bump maps add depth and detail to a material, as well as adding realism to the overall model. Bump maps give that final level of depth and detail to a material. It can make any material look convincingly lifelike. For this model, I want to add bump maps to the concrete here, as well as to this water here flowing under our Venetian bridge. Adding bump maps to the water is what's really going to make it look like water and not just like a sheet of glass. So to add bump maps, again, just hover over the material, right click, and click on Edit Material. Then, if it's not already active, click on the More button, then on to the Textures tab, then choose from which type of bump map you want to apply. I'm going to go with this one, and click OK. So now that I applied the bump map to the water, I'm going to show you what it looks like. See how much better this water looks now? It even has some reflections from the sun that gives us high and low lights. And the concrete here has just a little bit of grain to it, which makes it look more lifelike. Section planes offer the user easy access to the interior of a model, while still being able to use the other features of iRender Next. In SketchUp, section planes are used to give the user a better view of the interior of their model. In iRender Next, the same is true, but with the added features that iRender Next offers. 
like lights, reflections, and all the others. To use section planes in iRender Next, first you will need to set up a model with section planes like I have here. Let me just reposition. Then open up the iRender Next options. Come all the way down here to the Next tab and choose the setting from here which works best for your model. And that's it, that was really easy. Now we're ready to render. Now with section planes on, you can easily see into my model here, but I also have lights and reflections. Edge lines can add detail to objects in the model, or it can make it look artistic or as though it were drawn by hand. Edge highlighting is an amazing feature of iRender Next. It's one that very few other renderers can do. Edge highlighting is a great way to add more detail to an object or to give a model a totally different look and feel. For example, you could use sketchy edges to make it look like it was drawn by hand or more cartoonish. Edge highlighting is a snap to activate. Just click on the iRender Next setup options, then come down here to the Special tab, then choose from one of these options here. I'm going to pick All Edges, and that's it. Super easy, huh? All right, now let me render this and show you what we get. First, this is what this model looks like without edge lines. It looks really flat and boring, and all the details are washed out. Now let me show you what it looks like with edge lines turned on. See how the details in these cabinets and appliances are now much easier to distinguish? Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our website for more video tutorials.